Welcome to your Go Market Update charts today for today. It's Wednesday, the 4th of October. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, we saw significant selling in the US, all of the major indices down well in excess of a percent with a broad based sell off. And really, the, this is all due to rising bond yields, which are now testing 17 year highs. Markets are very spooked by this. However, US futures are holding near neutral in Asian trading today after the S&P 500 contract breached the 200 EMA yesterday to hit four month lows. Asian markets are lower again following that week US lead, ASX down around 0.7%. And we saw the VIX surging at its highest level since May. So the market's very spooked about what is going on right now. Be interesting to see what the impact is on bond yields and the USD as we get data coming across the wires over the next couple of days. US dollar index, not surprisingly, moved higher. Gold edged lower again, 1800 is in sight to the downsides, trading around 1820 on the CFD contract in Asia this morning. Copper tested support yesterday and doesn't look very happy either. Looks as though that continuing test of support is going on again in Asia today. And oil price port, it had a recent pullback over the last couple of sessions which has taken it back below 90 on the WTI contract. And we're still seeing that below 90 in place, although it is slightly higher in Asia. Bitcoin looked as though it was going to breach a resistance over the last couple of days, but it did pull back yesterday, back into the previous range. So it'll be interesting to see whether there's a retest of that or whether we're just going to sit in a range for the next few days. On the data front, we've got global services PMI out today. We've already had the Australian number, which has beat expectations. The RBNZ has released its interest rate decision. Later on today, we've got the Eurozone PPI. And then, of course, US Jobs Week, as it is the first week of the month with the ADP number out tonight. And of course, we've got weekly jobs and the big one, the non-farm payrolls on Friday. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're liking the look of the Canadian dollar yen. We had this big move in all yen crosses uh, during the US session. Uh, but you can see since then it's traded around, it's pivoted around 108.60. Uh, and you can see since Asian Open, it's moved higher slowly but surely over the course of the day so far. We think there's possibly a move up to around about this 109.30 level. Uh, if we can breach 109, we're sitting around 108.89 at the moment. This chart looks very like many of the others with the end crosses. So there could be a short term opportunity here. If we do get some significant buying pressure in this, we could even breach this and make our way up to the R1 pivot at 109.68. Very difficult to get excited about anything on the ASX today, but we are looking at EML Limited. Now, this stock has had. Two recent attempts at around about this 124 level. We had it last week and a couple of weeks previous to that. And once again, we've come down over the last few days and bounced again this morning. We've got an inside bar candle going on here. It'll be interesting to see where this ends up because if we do see it breach in the short term, this level at around about 115, uh, then there's certainly a very healthy potential return uh, up to that 124 which in percentage terms would represent a seven percent move to the upside so one to keep an eye on this stock looks as though it is popular with institutional investors since we had this big move higher and we could be ready to go again so being patient until we breach 115 is prudent uh, but then there could be an opportunity Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.